Yo, what's up guys? Just want to get a quick market update out for you all. Uh, we just had the weekly close. So I figure we'll run through some of the charts, look at a few tweets, just kind of go over everything that's going on really quick and, and see where we're at. So we'll start here with Bitcoin. Um, obviously, since the ETF approval, we've been you know pulling back quite a bit. And look, not to say we can't go lower and have a deeper pullback, but it's just, it's really funny how everybody gets super bearish every time we come down to support and every time we come down to the support we get a bunch of negative news like how grayscale's you know selling a bunch of bitcoin uh every day on coinbase but where we're at now it kind of reminds me of back here when we were sitting down here at support and everyone got super bearish right we pumped up we haven't broken any support yet. We came back down to the bottom of our range. And everyone's super bearish again. Um, and we're also getting negative news, which almost every time we get negative news on a support, it marks the bottom. So again, not to say that we can't go lower. I have no idea. No one has any idea. Um, but, you know, my best guess would be that we're probably going to reverse here soon. But again, I'm the biggest permable of all time so i'm always feeling bullish um but just seems like things are lining up i i feel like we're probably going to bounce from here we go lower so be it um probably buy more altcoins because altcoins will get wrecked but speaking of altcoins that's also what leads me to believe we're probably not going to go lower because let's just go look at total three so yeah total three Okay, we had like our accumulation, we had a breakout, we had a retest, and now we're, we retested the, the top of the range and the support. And, you know, technically we could come down lower, retest this, this top of the range. But my instinct says we're probably not going to break back below this. It seems like a good retest and now just consolidation before continuation. Same with uh, if we go over to ETH. Like, I don't see us going much lower. We broke out, retested, bounced higher, retested in our previous highs, and then I would expect higher. Especially when we come over to XRP. Sorry, this chart's a little messy. Let's zoom out, though. So XRP, the main level that, you know, we've been really concerned about here is 54 cents or so. Uh, we had, that was just our level to break out of. We finally broke out, and this past week we came down, uh, we held here, we bounced up, we came back down, retested again, and we closed above it again at around 54.5. Right now we're a little under 54, but just where the rest of the market's at it leads me to believe uh, if Bitcoin were to take another leg down, it would break a lot of a lot of the structures that we see on the altcoins that are set up pretty perfectly. Um, that's not to say that, you know, we can't have something like that where Bitcoin does come down. It looks like the altcoins completely break structure and they look terrible. And then we get a reversal and they pump from there. So something like this, a mass flush liquidation and then a whoop, right back up. That could happen for sure. But I'd like to believe that the structures are going to hold uh, and stay looking, you know, nice. But we'll go down to a smaller time frame really quick here on XRP. I don't want to draw that. Uh, just looking on a smaller time frame on the four hour. We just kind of have this resistance line here. We've just been hitting our heads against. And assuming we hold over 54 cents, should see a break by Tuesday. So in the next like 24, 48 hours. See if we break above this or if we do actually continue lower and break through that 54 cent uh, support that we want to be holding. But again, just today, Bitcoin came down, tested around 40,600, 700 again, really our lows. We've kind of bounced back up from there. But who knows where we go from here? Uh, it's anyone's best guess. What's really good to see is if we go over to the stock market, the S&P zoom out 
The S&P broke its all-time highs this week, and it closed above its all-time highs on Friday. So the stock market looks great, and this normally is a great uh, indicator beforehand that crypto is going to follow. So I don't have the charts overlaid and stuff, but typically uh, from what we've seen in the past, we see the stock market break its all-time highs, and then crypto or Bitcoin at least normally lags a little bit, and we'll see it do the same uh, a couple months later, a month or two or three after that. So the fact that we're seeing the S&P finally break, because the Dow broke its all-time highs here a while ago, uh, but it did set a new all-time high as well on Friday. Um, and now we finally had the S&P 500 break its all-time highs. Same with the NASDAQ. NASDAQ's been above its all-time highs. So the stock market looks great. We come over to the DXY. Looking like we're hopefully getting rejected here. The dollar's been one that's hard to call. It's been kind of up, down, all around. Um, we would love to see this come down and take out its lows. That would be great for the rest of the market, uh, for stocks, for crypto. But we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see what happens. Just the fact that the stocks are breaking into all-time highs. And again, all the altcoins look set up to be on top of support. And again, Bitcoin sitting on top of support. It leads me to believe that things are going to get turned around here soon. And people forget just how fast the market can move and how fast it can change from bearish to bullish, bullish to bearish. I mean, hell, when we were up here, everyone was freaking freaking out like 49K, super bullish. And then literally in two days, everyone became ultra bearish. Uh, so same thing can happen the other direction. As soon as the market gets moving, decides to switch directions, everyone will flip very quickly and the sentiment will change very fast. So let's run through a few tweets real quick from Credible Crypto. He is saying that we're going for the local lows, which seems or which was expected. He made a post like a day ago talking about how he sees us coming back down to touch the lows one more time before we uh, start making our way out of this this range down here. Uh, and from JD, so he says XRP, this could be a possible $20 plus top uh, using market cap as a marker if the structure here breaks. That, however, once overbought on multiple higher time frames with multiple oscillators, he's going to take profits regardless. So if we just look at the total market cap of XRP and we were to take a technical breakout target, saying up to around $20 plus. So again, this is just a triangle we always look at. Consolidation it looks good, and we'll see what happens. From MM Crypto, he just posts a tweet. He's normally talking about Bitcoin, so I thought this was funny. He posted a tweet: "Will this ever happen?" Showing XRP at a uh, hundred thirty dollars, and you know it's a pretty high number. I think one day possible, uh, but it'll probably take a while. But you know it's funny, something to look at. And from Alex Cobb. He uh, just posted some of these tweets from Gemini. So Gemini started tweeting, uh, don't forget about XRP. Excited about XRP. X arriving shortly. Uh, and then he posted X payments from Twitter, which we are still waiting to see what Elon Musk does with uh, with X and in the payments that it, it's setting up because he is supposed to be using crypto, I believe. And I think it's supposed to be happening sometime this, this year. So we'll see what happens with that. But from Gemini, you know, he's tweeting about that. And we're like, what is that? It's probably another nothing burger. Normally when these exchanges tweet out about XRP, it's kind of just nonsense. It's not really anything of substance. But then also um, Gemini tweeted this out. Can you solve this riddle? In the land of giants, I'm swift and small. When I run, I don't stall. Cross borders, I freely roam. Markets near and far from home. What am I? And the answer will be posted in 24 hours. They're obviously talking about XRP. Uh, and it's just funny because Gemini tweets up a storm about XRP and then they turn into a Riddler. Uh, like all the other Riddlers in, in the XRP community that just post all this nonsense trying to connect these dots. And it's funny. Um, but who knows? We'll see what they have to announce here in the in the coming days, hopefully. And... You know, maybe it'll be something big. I doubt it. Probably not going to be anything of substance, but we'll see. So uh, I think that's about all for today. You know, just run through everything, look at everything really quick, see where we're at. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.